एक ही दुरोना है हर तरफ करोना है एक ही दुरोना है हर तरफ करोना है एक ही तोना है हर तरफ करोना है तो क्या करें भाई सुबह शाम हाथों को बार बार धोना है सुबह शाम हाथों को बार बार धोना है अस्सलाम वालेकुम एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय कोरोना क्लासेस आई एम सखावत हुसैन Sahabat Hussain is here to teach you English. Sahabat Hussain teaches at FFC Grammar School and College. Sahabat Hussain has a very decent son. Do you listen to me having my name in the beginning of every sentence? Do you like that? If you say you like that, I will not believe you. Because the repetition of nouns again and again is something that is not liked. Then what is the remedy? How can we avoid the repetition of nouns? Simply by using pronouns yes today we are going to talk about the pronoun what is a pronoun if you recall your primary classes you can listen to a voice coming in your classrooms what is a pronoun and the way you responded to this question to your teacher ma'am A pronoun is a word. A, a word. A, a, a pronoun is a word that replaces a noun. Yeah, this is the way you responded to your teachers. Yes, and you were right. Pronoun is a word that is used to replace a noun. But why that was not told in those classes to avoid the repetition of noun. So we use pronouns to avoid the repetition of noun. Okay? So if you have listened to the definition then we should move to the kinds of the pronouns and the first one that is to be discussed now on the board is the personal pronoun. Which pronoun? The personal pronoun. What are the personal pronouns? These are the pronouns that we use to replace our names. Means if I want to replace my name I would be using or I would use I instead of saying Sahabat Hussain all the time. Okay? If I and my son want to replace our names, we shall be saying we instead of saying Sahabat Hussain and Ali Akbar are making these videos. Yeah, we are making these videos. Fine? Okay, now come to the board so that we may understand the personal pronouns and the cases in which personal pronouns are used. Come. So personal pronouns are used in three different ways, and we term those three different ways the cases of pronouns. Fine. If they are used as the subject in some sentence, I, we, you, they, he, she, and it. This is known as the subjective case of personal pronoun. Fine. But when they are used as the object of some verb in a sentence, they are. For I, the objective case is me. For we, the objective case is us. For you, the objective case is you. For they, it is them. For he, it is him. For she, it is her. For it, it is it. Look at the board. For I, it is mine. 
The book is mine. Okay, the channel is mine. You are mine. Okay, mine. And for we, it is ours. Okay, this school is ours. This channel is ours. Don't worry about that. Okay, we can share it. Okay, and then for you, it's yours. Not you are. About the happens, uh, we confuse uh, the pronouns uh, with the possessive adjectives. So we have to avoid that. Possessive adjectives are different and possessive pronouns are different. Okay. For they is theirs, not their. Theirs. And for he it is his. And for she it is hers. And for it, it is its. So the confusion between possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives should also be discussed over here. Like if you say, it is my book. This my is not a possessive pronoun. It is not possessive pronoun by the way. It is not the personal pronouns possessive case. It is the possessive adjective. Let me write somewhere over here. Let me take another marker. This is my book. This my is not a pronoun. This is possessive adjective. Unfortunately, this is written in the books even. In the textbooks that my is a pronoun. My is not a pronoun. Look. It is defining or describing a noun after it. That is a book. So a noun is described, a noun is uh, qualified, a noun is uh, explained by some adjective, not a pronoun. So instead of writing this or saying this, we should say this book is mine. This mind is the possessive pronoun. Understood? So, okay, having a quick recap, uh, we should revise the pronouns, personal pronouns. Personal pronouns, avoid the repetition of your nouns, okay? They are found in three different cases. When they are used as subjects, they are in subjective case. When they are used as the object of some verb, they are in the objective case. And when they show some position, some belongingness, they are in possessive case. Okay? Bye. Wait, we have to add some more information to this topic, personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are used in three uh, persons. First person, second person and third person. When we use uh, some uh, pronoun to replace our names, like if I use a pronoun to replace my name, Instead of saying, so how Sand is teaching you, I would be saying, I am teaching you. In that case, this I is the first person pronoun. If I and my son replace our names and say, we are making these videos, this we is the first person pronoun. Okay? And if I talk to someone directly and replace his name or their names, I would be saying, you, you are a very good class. And if I am talking about someone in his absence, fine, like he is my friend or she is a good student or they are a very good people or it is a very good book. So he, she, it, they and it, sorry, he, she, it, they and it, I repeated I think. So they are the third person pronouns. Fine, look at the board so that you may get some more about that. So, I is the first person pronoun, V is also the first person pronoun, fine? And you is the second person pronoun, and he, she, it, and they, they are the third person pronouns. I hope that some more knowledge has been added to your uh, previous knowledge. Thank you very much. Bye.